Dad, why does it always have to be tabs? Because if you don't finish it, I want to be able to. can I seen all day. I'll get your can. Anytime you say, baby, anytime. Be around tomorrow? That I can't stay. I have to go to the city today. Going back, and I'm staying with my boyfriend. You know that, don't you? Well, uh, listen, if you have any more jobs like you did last night, let me know. Because I could really use that money. And it was good. And uh, I could be here on the E-train in a minute. There's no problem. You have the number. Listen, I have a present for you. I know how you love silk. And it was just your color. I've had it for so long, I think it's your turn now. Hmm. Oh, um, can I see you on Thursday? Yeah. All right, and if you decide to get your legs cleaned up, remember I can do 650 hairs an hour. It won't take as long as you think. Hmm. All right, I'll see you. It's not real silk, who's she kidding? <laughs> it 
at you to look at those legs. <laughs> How much rent did she pay? $35. Not that it's any of your business. Where'd you send her last night? Where's the newspaper? I want to see the newspaper. Don't be so dramatic. You're overthinking. You are always overthinking, and you're getting lines all over your face from it. And if you need a newspaper, go out and buy your own and stop bothering your father-in-law when he's reading his. And by the way, your whining is really annoying. It's not fair to the rest of us. Just relax, hello? Yes, of course I remember. Have you decided? Good. Now let's settle on the price. That's a low price. Don't worry. I probably can find somebody to work that cheap. Relax, honey. People don't know what they don't want until after they don't have it to worry about. You'll see. UCC? Mrs. Aiken. I've got a really big, high paying job this week. 5,000 your share. Can you do it? Oh. Do you know anyone who can? No, you know I only use women, so why mention it? Well, who is he? How long ago? remember hearing about that. Okay, I'll see him. Okay. Give him the address and have him come for a chat. Well, tell him to come later. Afternoon. I've got a lot of appointments this morning. <laughs> okay. Sorry you're missing out on this one. Light and sweet. Yeah, well, I would. I would in business, but there's a much in personal relationship. So then you know what does, working in the spring. How much is that? It's 27 cents. How did you mind? I want a cone. Can you pour some into a cone? I'll be right back. Uh, Mrs. Aiken? Yes. Cece called you about me. You're early. I've got a client here. Well, don't worry about it. Why did you bring luggage? Look, maybe Cece told you that occasionally I let a girl stay here while I'm opening the channels between her and a client, but that's in very special situations. This is special. Well, we've only got one bathroom. It couldn't hold another person. Can I just wait in here? Thank you. Well, you see, in a really small house like this, there's a lot of tension when it gets overcrowded. 
Even when girls stay here, and girls are a lot easier than boys. Yeah, but I haven't got that much stuff. Yeah. But you're a big guy. You'll fill up the house. I've got a husband here, and my mother. She's not well. She coughs up a lot, and that's a little nerve-wracking. My daughter-in-law has her baby, and it cries nonstop. I think you better stay at a Holiday or a Ramada Inn. Look, if I don't run into something, it's not there. Anyway, I don't like hotels. They check phone bills. Look, I've worked before, and I'm 29 now. I figure at this point it would be nice if I could earn some more money. Oh. Is he Italian? He looks Italian. Definitely. Hold on, Carla. Have you ever worked for 5,000? I've worked for 8,000. I can't live like crap. I could never live like crap. Well, I've got a lot of women coming in here for electrolysis from morning until evening. I'm careful how I approach people. See, I mostly approach people in low key. I'm a background person. And I've got a lot of antiques around here that I'm really careful about. So, what's the rent? $75 a day, American plan. Fine. I can understand that. Is that with meals? No. Then with food? Hello? Oh, yes. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's a coincidence you should call because I was just interviewing someone just now. Yes, I think he's what you'd want. Yes, he. Well, talk to him yourself. He came highly recommended to me. Hello? I hope you're going to be at this number all week. Are you? Yeah. A little upset that you aren't a woman. What can I say? I just thought a woman would be more understanding about what I want. Uh, do we have your number here? Uh, yeah, sure, uh, LT. LT? LT. Yeah, like initials. Groovy. All right, now, here's the problem. I don't know precisely when. All I can say over the phone is that it's for my son. He's sort of retarded, but they call it autistic, you know? He comes home on the weekends from a special school, so I'll call you on Friday to discuss the details. Oh, shit. He's not improving. Your job will be simple. It's not one of those horrible situations. Because it's time for it. And just consider it euthanasia. You know, a retraction. As I said, he is autistic. I'll be with you in a minute. So I'll call you. All right? Right. Well, we'll wait for your call. I don't go for this we business. Don't involve me in your problems if anything goes wrong. It's your problem now, and I don't want to know anything about it except when it'll be and when I'll get the rent. Yeah, well, that's the problem. There's a delay, and I can't do the job right now. She wants me to stay on call for some time within the next week. And that would mean a lot of rent, you know? Uh, a waiting time, I see. Hello? How much time do you need? I can give you a half hour. Fine, Mrs. Fiocco. Yes, I do beauty work for her, too. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, God bless you, aren't you sweet? <laughs> well, I like to help people. Yes, all right, fine, bye-bye. Uh, what? Bingo. No, my husband doesn't let me gamble. All right, fine, bye-bye. She's so pushy, wants to know your whole life story. Come on, I'll show you the room. Won't be long now. Are you following me? You home all day? I do beauty work here. You see how sounds carry around here? You can hear the neighbors do everything. So I hope you haven't got a radio or anything in there. I don't want to get in trouble with them. I've got another guest room, but this is the best one for you.
cozy. If you bring any magazines up from the downstairs, put them back. And don't tear anything out. How'd you pick that up so fast? Look, I hope you know no drugs in this house. This is no place to get sloppy. And you'll pay your rent from your share of the 10000 which will be half, just so you understand that. That's a hell of a cut you're taking. Well, I've got a lot of overhead. time and they loved it whatever uh have you got a quarter no i'm very broke until next week uh, because i mislaid my little purse <laughs> you're very tacky have any scotch whatever you see there that's all we've got well, some milk maybe no that's bad for my ulcer Are you in good health? No, not yet. Caroline's finally losing some weight. That's great. Hello, Mrs. Aiken. This is Sarah Leachman. I'm the woman that uh, you spoke to last month. Yeah, I'm married to the guy with only one arm. Right. Listen, I need one of those girls. Yeah, I need her this afternoon. Oh, great. Look, we have to set up a time now because there's no phone at the place. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Mrs. Aiken, the um, hair in my nose is growing back again. I know it's not your fault. It's my nose. I mean, I just thought I'd mention it. God. FBI had me on a witness relocation program until a couple months ago. Because I know where Hoffa is. Yeah, I know where Crater is. If I eat this now, where will it be in my digestive system in an hour? PG? How'd you know? Can you do some work on short notice? Today. Well, she wants it today. You just go and discuss it with her yourself. And the address is 112 Green Street between Prince and Spring. Why'd you call somebody up when I'm just sitting around here all day? I would have gone in for you. Okay, I've told this story so many times, I'm really sick of it. And he was waiting at the subway platform at 6th Avenue and West 4th Street. When an illegal alien from the men's shelter, the kind of criminal I hate, the kind that doesn't even belong here, came up from behind him and shoved him onto the subway tracks. When the D-train came by, it just cut off his arm. That ended, among other things, his employability as a musician. Well, the police finally caught the guy. I mean, I'll give him credit for that. But the courts allowed him plea bargaining, and it reduced the crime down to something like spitting on the subway tracks. He was released right away. I mean, he took a whole 12 hours out of his heavy schedule of being an illegal alien. Now he's working night to the gas station on Lafayette and Bleecker. I know where that is. Uh, he works until 10. He's alone there after 8. There's an IRT subway stop right exactly in front of the place, almost by the pumps. I want you to wait there and follow him down into the subway when you see a train coming. I want you to shove him real hard onto the tracks. If we're lucky, he'll fall right and be dismembered. Now, can you do that? Sure. Facile, facile. 
Nice kid. She's sick. That's good. That's exactly what we need. Now, look. I'm going to give you this Polaroid. I want you to take a picture and bring it back to me. I'll be waiting for you at the Spring Street Bar between 10 and 10.30. Look, I can't believe you can get this done either. But as long as you can, let's just do it. Yeah. You're so fucking passive. I can't stand watching you sit around here all day, talking to your shrink on the phone, and reading liner notes off of 1965 Dylan album. I mean, what do you have to talk to him about anyway? You don't do anything. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Aiken. It's Marsha and Glenda. What? No, I don't know the address, and there's no number on the telephone. Yeah. We're at some schmuck's house. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to call the operator and have to trace us. Glenda, will you shut up while I'm trying to talk on the phone? Uh-huh. Does she have anything for us? Uh-huh. Mm. OK. Uh, we'll call her back later and see we just missed one. You know, you're wearing my panties. So what? They're dirty. What do you mean, so what? They're not hey, dirty. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You... Stop it!
Hold still. And why do we still have all these leaflets here? You haven't been taking them around. Oh, gonna be I told you. Right? Leave them in supermarkets, laundry mats, places where women will see them. Why can't you use your own initiative? I can take care of that. Goodbye. I won't be seeing you tonight, so I'll see you tomorrow. Well, that looks pretty good. You've got a long string hanging. Oh, I'll take care of that later, too. Off that crummy skirt. She's really dizzy, that RC. That back's not much of a challenge for you. I wonder if I should charge men more. I have a lot of women coming in next week. So I want you to be out of the house more. You put them off always hanging around. Take some of those leaflets down to the OTB. Why don't you take the kitchen TV up to your room? Check the late show. I need color. Why aren't you wearing any underwear? You would think that Mother or Mary would water this plant once in a while. I have to do everything myself. You're going to have to go into the city tomorrow and buy me some new needles. Remind me to give you the money. Hello? I was thinking of you, Mrs. Akins, and I thought I would call you. How are things in your little menagerie? You know, you've been straight with me in the past, but lately you seem to forget that you have to pay for my police protection. I think I'll have something for you soon. I told you I'd call you as soon as I had something. Listen, don't get so fat and greedy that you forget about me. Well, you don't have to be insulting. It helps me make my point. I'll be seeing you very soon. Remember, I gotta make my occasional collar. I think if you send 10 girls out, you can set up the 11th. <laughs> I can't even tell if it's him. He is the only one in there. I can't even tell what it is. Both legs. That's not what I asked for. Senti, strega, caccia i soldi, capito? The money, the money. Does make you feel better. Yeah. My husband isn't here to see you walk in like that. He has no job, so he has lots of time to worry about me. But I'm just checking to make sure that you're not into the numbers. You look around here, make sure you're not hiding receipts and the cheese and stuff like that. Ma'am? Kathy, take Susie's bag off the table. She might have had it in a urinal or something. All right. We're going, we're going. God, we can take a message. What's new, Mrs. Aiken? Nothing. Deadsville. 
our preliminary round, we'll have a chance to go the limit on our big wheel, which could result in your winning a brand new Opal. Your husband's still driving that truck? Who are those two girls, uh, Kathy and Susie? Aren't they adorable? They're Mary's friends. They didn't say goodbye to her. They're upset. I'm upset, too. I want to make an arrest soon. For a felony. Now, what can you do for me? Oh, I know. It's your job. Your husband must be down off-track betting, giving his city money to the state again. Oh, I would imagine. Went over to Aqueduct. I heard him go toward Aqueduct. It must be wonderful to be laid off and get paid off every week from the city. Uh, look at Grandma. Uh, look at Grandma. Uh, no, he gets paid bi-weekly. You sound bitter. Maybe you think people still earn their paychecks. Maybe you think my husband should turn himself into the nearest precinct house because the city payroll made a computer error. Is there anything else you want to know about our finances? No. I'll order your books the next time. How's the hairy leg business doing? You must be making a lot of money at that, too. Enough to get by. Nobody likes hair. Everybody today wants to be more feminine. Yeah, even some women are getting into that, too. But I haven't heard from you in a couple of months. Now, why don't you give me something that will make my job easier? Who's this? Oh, this is my nephew, Detective. Your nephew? That's right. Can't you detect the resemblance? He stopped in New York on his way south. He'll be with us for a day or two. When relatives are staying, you take it easy. You don't get much work done, do you know? Oh, look. He brought me this. It's a gift from my sister. Isn't it lovely? Things have been slow, but they'll pick up when my nephew leaves. I promise. Listen, I was in Woolworths the other day, and I sat down at the lunch counter, and I asked the girl, I saw the sign for cocoa bananas, you know, and asked the girl to bring me one, and she brought it, and it was in bright green syrup. And I told Marilou, look at this hideous eclair, and the guy next to me said, what? Did you say something? And I said, I said nothing to you, sir. Turn around and mind your own business and eat your bun. He was eating a muffin. <laughs> And then I said, turn around, you fat fuck. And he lunged at me. I was screaming, help, help, get him off me, get him off me. But nobody helped. The place was full of faggots, and nobody helped me. And, and I couldn't fight. And I hit the razor machine, I hit the gumball machine, I hit the peanut machine, everything, you know. And then I got him out the door, and he grabbed me right what there. What the hell is this? My sister had quite a time with this one. When will we see you again? We're a sister act. Don't worry about it. Big deal. It's up to you if you're going to split the money, but I'm telling you right now I'm only paying 65 and that's it. Don't worry about it. It's our problem. We need camp fare. What do you want us to do? You've got to kill a dog, and you've got to kill it viciously. I mean, it can't be something painless or ouchless. One of these? Of course not. Why would I want one of my own babies killed? This is mommy, and these are her two babies. Wooza, wooza, wooza. So what dog? Ah, it's a dog across the street. The owner embarrassed me. I stopped into the bar on the corner. I know the people there, Jews, but nice. And this O'Reilly old crap face was there, and he had a few in him. I was wearing my short pants because I was so damn hot. And he turned to the drunk sitting next to him. I can read lips. I saw him say, I can't wait till summer's over because old bags look so bad in shorts. I walked out of there and I haven't been comfortable in the neighborhood since. I mean, he could have gone around telling everyone. I thought about it a lot. And the only way to deal with him is kill his dog. I mean, I think it's the only thing he really cares about. In fact, I know it is. I kill it myself, but I don't want to get into it. I just want to stay out of it. He's an ex-cop, and he could get one of his cronies after me. 
So I don't want to be waiting around for this. I want you to get it done by tomorrow. He takes his dog with him to the bar every night at around 9.30. How are we going to know what this guy looks like? I'm going to show him to you in just a minute. He'll be out there, and he'll be wearing the same blue pants he's been wearing for two years. I guarantee you he'll be wearing them today. I'm telling you, people stink. They all do. All they do is eat, fucking watch TV. I know. The more you smell, the more they stink. What's that supposed to mean? Listen, I'm a woman, and I've learned a hell of a lot from Betty Furness. I'm getting rid of that guy that barks across the hallway. He hasn't put his garbage out in that hallway for two months. And every time I go out there, I have to hold my nose. But I have a heavy breather, and I can't hold it that long. I got a lot of gas in me. My doctor says I'm an air swallower. What do you mean you're an air swallower? I don't know. It's very important to fight depression. <coughs> a woman alone like me. You've got to take a deep, good look at yourself. You've got to see the countless millions of cells in your body. The millions of cells all in perfect order. And then you say to yourself, it's got to be for something. When do we see this guy? In a second, I'm going to show him to you. But the spades are the worst. The other day, I was in the AMP, and I took the shopping cart from the row, and I, <laughs> the spade woman said to me, that's my card. Give it to me. I said, what do you mean it's your card? There he is. See those blue pants? Two years going on three. So after you do it, be sure you split. Don't come back. I pay up front. I always do anyway. We still get the welfare. Rent subsidations, what they actually call it. But she takes it all. Because we live downstairs. What is Mrs. Aiken does? Mm-hmm. She's strong. She's got a lot of charm. You. <laughs> Do you have any kids? One in Jersey. How old? Who knows? You don't see it? No, I can't stand the girl. She's a chronic complainer. I said, listen, I'll see the kid when it can drive over to my house. I'm not going back there. I don't want to go through with that shit. Did you go to school in New Jersey? No, but I have some people I know there. My mother lived with me in Jersey for a while. And then she left me in a room. I know a single when I feel it. I know a five when I see one. Well, maybe we should call a cop and have him take a look. I'll take that change. Ah. Oh, John, take a look at this. I'll take this for the balance of my change. She gave me that single, and she said it was a five and that she was looking right at it. You can make excuses when it's kids. But what'd she look like? She looks pretty normal. She looks good, actually. Yeah. Does she have any other jobs? Who? Mrs. Aiken. Oh. None that I want to talk about. It's all right for a man to do those things, those phone calls and those mean people. But a woman shouldn't be that way. 
What way? Hard and mean. How long has she had girls? How long has she had girls doing things for her? Oh, long, long before Chris and I came here. She was doing it then. Huh. Wow. She, she just wants money for herself. She was a model in the garment center just twice, 25 years ago. She thinks she's a fashion leader. She thinks she's Princess Grace. She went to Paris once. She thinks she's been around the world. She thinks she's better than everybody. She thinks she's better than you and me. She thinks she's Miss Air France. Hey, a new guy in this house. This must be the truck driving partner of your husband. Is your husband parking outside? You know, he doesn't want to come in to see her. You should give her some nice picky picky. She looks so frustrated. So, your husband learned how to choose a partner. He made one mistake with you, but now, look at this one. Ah, oh, Mary, how can you lose a man so easy? And your husband can get such a good one. I have to say, you know the same style. If you screw twice a week, you'll be fine. Uh, you should lose weight if you want to get a young guy like this. Really, you should buy yourself a nice plastic suit to take some pounds off. So that way you lose weight. And you keep your dirty smell inside. Come on. Oh, we are friends, darling. But look at your hair. You really look like a witch. Look at your hair. Yeah. Spray it. <laughs> You shouldn't scream, Mary. You're overreacting. If I screamed every time I got upset, I'd be in Bellevue. The rent. You can scream until the cows come home and it won't help anything. Not that the cows come home anymore. <laughs> Why don't you take a walk? I might miss my call. I'll take a message. And if that call doesn't come in by tomorrow, I want to know what's holding it up. Now, take a stroll. It's bad air out. Well, then go upstairs. You're renting a room, not the whole house. Don't get testy. <sighs> These kind of things happen. Women can be very cruel because they say whatever comes into their heads, but it's very stupid to let it upset you. She can't even speak English. We need the income. I don't see you getting up off your backside to get a job. You take my whole welfare check? Why don't you stand in front of the supermarket and resell some of your food stamps? Get the cash instead of buying all that junk you buy. <laughs>
Show me what you like. Why are you in this place? I've got two apartments in L.A. to stay in, but I don't like the places. Uh, the people like me, but I don't like the way they like me. They're very embarrassing to be near. I called Cece to get her opinion because I have a tendency to think about things the wrong way. So she set me straight on the people. She said, man, they're all schmucks anyhow. How about that one? Why don't we try this position? Without demand, there's no supply. But there is demand, and we need the income. Chris will be coming home soon, and he'll work. We'll have some money. <laughs> Chris will work? <laughs> oh, Chris doesn't work, because my son is temporarily out of order, going on permanently. <laughs> He drives that truck up from Florida, comes as far as New Jersey, then he turns around and goes right back again. No, he won't be coming here. <laughs> and he wouldn't call you on a Watts line. Time for nappy. I don't like this kind of shit. It helps me get in the mood. For what? A drugstore? You gotta have her get rid of these hairs with that machine while you're here. I like this way. Oh, what you doing with Burns? Oh, this is unexpected. What's the occasion? There's a naked guy standing in your window upstairs. Oh, I can't take this life. Look at this crappy makeup. Look at these glasses. Who's the guy upstairs? Be quiet. You're not going up there. Do you girls do your work already or what? No, we're doing it tomorrow. And the money? The money? Yes, the money that Estelle gave you. Estelle has a history of full payment in advance. So as long as you're here, you might as well give me my fee. You're too much. Gee, Hazel, that meatloaf looks good. Mm. Oh, you're going to need about uh, 15 minutes on that jawline, huh? Come on. What about the pussy area? That'll have to be extra. Hazel doesn't do pussies. You know, I had some uh, trouble with one of my girls recently. Over money. Tried to walk out on me. Won't be working for me again. Is that it? You should have got yourself some rubber bands. How old are you? Twenty-nine. You gotta watch out for women when they're twenty-nine. If they're beautiful, they got a lot to lose. Where do you get your money? Well, I, I work on and off. And I collect welfare and disability. <laughs> what kind of disability? I didn't know you can get money for it. But it had a lot of prematures. Emotional disability. I committed suicide last year. And the cops found me and they took me to this hospital. And I was lucky. There was this welfare person there and they got me all this money and now I've got money for the rest of my life. To what address did they money to you, the checks? To my aunt's house in Long Island. But the checks come from the south somewhere. 
Alabama, I think. Some state like that. I don't know. What do you do in Los Angeles? I went out originally to see this girl. The one I committed suicide over. And I killed her. Basically, what it amounted to. As the months go by, she'll die. I put a curse on her, and her will's not strong enough to survive. She wasn't so smart for thinking I was so stupid. You should never underestimate a person with native intelligence. I tried to go to Angola. I, I had a guy in Miami who was going to run me to Cuba. Bye-bye, Eti. It was incredible. Thank you. She's still here? Oh, God. This is electrocution. You can't blame yourself. There's no way you could have known about his problem. Mary looks depressed. Mary's been roughed up. She should get out more. Have a good time. Forget her troubles. Look at us. We're always out. That's why we don't have any problems. I can't. I have to take care of the baby. A movie with you and you what? Mrs. Aiken would watch the baby. Go out, Mary. Mary, wouldn't you like to go to the movies? What was the last movie you saw? The Watergate one. Oh, my God. You need something escapist. Mary, you got to start acting younger. You're not a bad-looking chick. You have to start dressing better. You're not showing the best of your abilities. Do you have cancer? I'm only kidding. What do you say? Go out. Chris won't be calling. He hasn't called in two months. Go out and get yourself a boyfriend. Let's be honest, Lisa. Okay. See, that's what friends are for, to go out with when you're down. Now, you're sure, Mary? It's a big decision. Yes. Yeah. I want to go out and see some people. I want to go to the men's room. What for? What do you think? Maybe I'll find some jerk off. Oh, I will only do blacks. <laughs> Let's take one home. Daddy said he chopped my head off if he saw me with a nigger. He'll have a heart attack. Eh, who cares? I wish he would already. You guys going to talk to the home movie or what? Fuck you! Shut up! Want to punch in the face? I can't stand staying in that apartment one more night. That jerk is driving me crazy. I like him. He's good to me. I'll be right back. I gotta take a leak. Hey, bring me back a Coke. Shh! She a sound.
a bad movie. You were right, Marsha. I didn't say it was a bad movie. It was a good movie. You know, you can't judge a film just because you don't understand the language, Mary. Yeah, it was interesting. Jerk. I remember once I saw this French movie. I didn't understand it, but I liked it. Going to California soon? Yeah, we have to. We're actresses there. I told you that. I thought you were models. We model in New York. We act in California. Are you too short? She, she thinks she knows. She thinks she knows something. Don't you know that all the great actresses are short? They have to be because all the great actors are even shorter. You know, if it weren't for this one, we could have picked up ten guys tonight. Yeah, I think it's because you're older. You look from another generation. See how stupid people are? They're making us rob the car. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to. I want to walk around here. Shut up. Get in the car. There's a fire around here. There's no fire. They're only going to the bathroom or lunch, right, Glenda? Get in the car. I don't want to. Glenda, what's wrong with you? Don't you want to go for a ride? Get in the car. Mary, are you coming? Okay, okay. Should I get in the back seat? Hey, mister, you got a dollar? No, I don't. Do you have a dollar? Oh.
You do realize that there's going to be an increase in your rent. You know, I brought that with me. Who cares? It just flashed them. Bad movie? People are so sick. The more you see them, the sicker they look. You could be so nice if you didn't want to be a creep. I'd like to stay here. She's so abusive toward him. And he lets her get away with it. She'd chase you out of the house with a broom if it came to that. She's sexy. You know what I mean? I mean, some women, you stand beside them. You feel hot inside instead of cold. You know what I mean? Some women have it. They're not sexy. All you got to do is see their picture. All it takes is money. I just can relate to smoking. It's the only thing that's always here. Last night, a theater in Queens Playing a Hispanic movie provided the scene for great death and destruction. At approximately 10.30 p.m., a fire broke out, spreading rapidly, blocking off most of the exits. Only a few people escaped through a side door exit. Authorities are trying to make some sense out of the 14 bodies that have been found in the rubble so far. Today, the cars in the deluxe theater's parking lot are mute testimony to the deaths of many of those 
who did not escape. God, what was he doing here? What was he doing? He did me vanish. What was he doing here? Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. I hate to ask you this in this moment of sorrow, but could you tell me, were you aware that she came here last night? Uh, no, no, I was not aware. I was not. Were there possibly any other friends with her that you might know of? The boyfriend she's been running around with. <laughs> She's my niece. We, we just got the up. I hope it was that bitch who told us to shut up. I just thank God that we were showing a bad movie. One of those arty things, you know? Otherwise, believe me, a lot more people would have been killed in there. That's a notarized letter from my father saying he doesn't want us in the house anymore. Frank Montemorano? <laughs> what does that mean? Mountain of morons? <laughs> Oh, chuckle, chuckle. <laughs> Listen, they're going to try and throw it up in your face. Everybody's on welfare, but don't let them tell you you can't get it. This is Miguel Morales at the Deluxe Theater in Queens. When are you going to do your job for Estelle? I don't want her calling me up complaining again tomorrow. We'll do it tonight. Don't worry. All right. Well, then I'll call Estelle and tell her that it'll definitely be done tonight. You know, she's used me quite a few times, so you really should have done it for her last night. Well, we were going to do it last night, but Glenda had to go looking for men. You know that always comes first with her. What are you talking about? You're the one that looks for men. Glenda, don't go to see your boyfriends tonight. Do your work. Oh, this thing is so hot. I hate what that hairdresser did to my hair. You know, Mrs. Aiken, I just don't understand these girls who drop everything at the sight of a man. Glenda's always looking for a hard on. I don't like toilet talk in my kitchen. You girls are colorful. A lot of girls today are. But you all have to do your work when you're supposed to. We'll do it tonight if Glenda can keep her legs closed. I'm sorry, Hazel. Okay, Julie. What do you say? Time we go have a few with the boys, huh? Come on, babe. Get him! Hey, what is it? Get him in the ball, that bastard! to be a genius to figure that out. <laughs> what a comedy. Eight of the dead were shot to death, one was bludgeoned, one was strangled, and three were stabbed. Hi. Uh, Queen's Supreme Where's Court Mrs. Aiken? They made a public apology after waves of protests from individuals. <laughs> Mrs. Aiken, I'm here. Oh, 
following a courtroom eulogy by the justice for a 13-year-old youth shot by police. Witnesses testified the youth had pistol whipped a 90-year-old Bronx man and had turned on police with the gun. An eight-year-old girl was found in critical condition last night in a room with the bodies of her five-year-old brother and her mother. Susan Jeffries had been shot two days ago by her mother, who then shot Susan's brother and then turned the gun on herself so that she says they could all be in heaven with death. At Hello? At 7.30 this morning, Mr. Ralph Levy... Yes, how much time do you need? In the Bronx, climbed out onto the ledge out That's the okay. Window. He jumped... Right. Bye-bye. Just minutes before the police arrived with his roommate of 23 years, <laughs> Howard Reese. A faggot jumper. <laughs> and here's a report on a recent finding by a group of physicians. These doctors remind us that there's no conclusive evidence that x-rays promote breast cancer, but they recommend eliminating it as a routine check because the small amount of radiation in the x-ray itself might do the harm. And they point out that even if the danger is very small, it's probably still more dangerous than no X-ray at all. This is Russell Joyner. That was today. You have a good tomorrow. LT, telephone. Sorry, I meant to sweep that up earlier, but I forgot. Did you get punctured? Did I get punctured? Yeah, the air's leaking out of my foot. Well, answer the phone. Hello? There's a dial phone. They hung up. See what happens when fools rush in? Was it my job? No, I didn't recognize the voice. Now, who else knows you're here? You shouldn't tell people. Give me the key. Cece knows I'm here. It wasn't her. Give me the key! And you're not using up my message units to find out. Go out and phone from a booth for your love life. This is a business phone. God damn, are you real? You're so nasty. Watch out for infection. Take your fingers and squeeze some blood out. Thanks, Mom. Milk the wound. Go up to your room and relax. And watch it on my stairs. No blood. Hi, Miss Draken. I agree. Hello. Hi. Don't you look elegant. I hope you're not saving the last dance for me. As a matter of fact, I am. I'm feeling very funky tonight. I can imagine. You know, Ingrid, someday you're going to wake up and actually get dressed. Taking a shower tonight or just doing one of your touch-ups? I'm going to do my favorite, the Howard Hughes sponge bath. To which one of these men, Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, or Max? You take a double? You look happy, Marie. Sure. Hello? What are you going to go for next? Yes. Hold on. SF? Hello? Oh, okay. I'll be right over. Just give me half an hour. She gave me the address. What was that squalling? I'll be back later. Why don't you go find Mary and see if she can play? The air quality is satisfactory today. Well, when it's fabulous, I'll go out. I don't want to miss a one o'clock movie. Wow.
Oh, there's babies crying everywhere. I mean, you could go mad. Sometimes it's one of those Siamese cats. But look, the girl's already on her way over right now. God damn it. It's my baby. I'm the mother. Somebody else has to do it. You told me to. You told me. You told me. I'm not stupid. I know what you told me. She's already on the way. Just do it yourself. Now. Oh, God. I think it knows. All right. All right. Come by the time the police come, I'm gonna throw all your crap out the window, too. You can't do that. I give up. Trying to play with you is just too dreary. You can't play either. You back already? Must have been a real quickie, huh? A real shorty? Oh, she wanted me to get rid of her baby. And then to save the money, she chucked it out the window herself, the bitch. Oh, no! No, no, no! I can't stand it anymore! Don't cry, Mary. I'll get another job tomorrow. I didn't really want this bathing suit. Why don't you wear it someplace snappy, like Reese Park? I don't want stolen property in this house. I can't stand it! I can't! Oh, those, these people are driving me crazy! God damn you! Watch it. That's not a very respectful tone for your husband's oh, mother, is it? I don't care! What kind of grandmother are you? Having baby killers in the house with a baby? She kill any baby! She would not. She only does what she's paid to do. You wouldn't pay her, so she wouldn't do it. You're crazy. You're really not all there. I want them out. They're ugly. I want him out, too. He's got a gun on his foot. It's safer that way. What if somebody broke in? LT will be leaving soon. And anyway, I thought you liked him. I pay my rent. Don't I have any right? Look, you rent the basement. So why don't you get your money's worth and roam around down there? Bolt the door after you. I get lonesome. How can you get lonesome with that rug rat <laughs> hanging on you every second? You won't even look at it. <laughs> Hello? I'll go get him. Hold on. <laughs> LT? What are you doing in the basement? Research. It's Mrs. Joyner. Oh. Hello? Oh, yeah, where? Uh, okay. Is that right off Hillside Avenue, though? <laughs> That's some neighborhood. Okay. All set? Yeah, just about. Well, are you going to do it tonight or just discuss it? Why? Make sure you get paid in cash, that's all. How did you set that up? She's going to leave a, an envelope in the kids' room. I'm glad to see you're on your way. When your ship comes in, I'm waiting at the pier. Don't fall off. You know, 
Russell's such a pussy. I have to do everything myself. I know I shouldn't tell you what's going to be happening, Carla, and have you be thinking about it. But I have to be open. You know how I am. I know. I can understand. There's so many things on your mind. I had to get that woman's number from you. So you might as well know why. I mean, I know I made a choice when I got married. But that was before I knew what I wanted. And I never expected to get this involved in the press. The worst of it's being saddled with an autistic child like mine. Sometimes all I can think about is that abortion I had senior year. You were great to help me with it. But God, that baby was probably normal. And look what I ended up with. Not that you'd even want a normal one at this point anyway. It'd be so much better after it's over, because I know it's for the best. It's not like the boy's even happy. It's just so depressing when he comes home on weekends. Maybe Russell will even stop drinking after it's over. Not that every other newsman down there isn't a drunk anyway. <laughs> He'll probably miss the excuse. I like to show my authority once in a while. Because sometimes you don't seem to remember. I can't stay, although I know you wouldn't mind. You know, the more I see of you, the more I think we ought to get together sometime. Let's have lunch. Yeah, let's have lunch, and then after lunch, let's get together. I do more than police work, you know. You know, the more I see of you, the more I think of it this way. If you don't want to see me the way I know you don't want to see me, then you better fix me up with a collar real soon. Maybe even your nephew. Do you understand me? Not really. What does my nephew have to do with our arrangements? I don't know, but I'm really disappointed that you're not telling me. You know I don't use men. When I have something with one of my girls, I'll phone you, I promise. Things will pick up after my nephew leaves. That's fine, as long as those things don't pick up before your nephew leaves. So, what's your job tonight? I have to do a retraction on this woman's kit. What do you mean? It's artistic and she doesn't want a queer oh. kid. She's embarrassed. Can you blame her? You mean, kill it?
to watch them. All right. Thanks. I'll be back. Are you Mr. Joyner? What? I have something to tell you if you are. Yeah, yeah, I'm Mr. Oh, Joyner. I tried to call you before. Oh, yeah? I couldn't talk, so I came over. Yeah? Listen, someone's after your baby. It's an insane person that your wife spoke to. Oh, uh, come on. That's, that whole thing is crazy. No, I'm not. It's true. I know about it. I know about it, too, miss. You want to know something? You got too much anxiety. I'll be back. I'll be back. I promise you, I'll be back.
Do it yourself. Nobody cares. He'll go away. you any further. the money. How well do you know that lady? Mrs. Joyner? Yeah. Well, some people you know better than others. Where's the envelope? Because there's a dead person in her house. Yeah, I hope so. Where's the envelope? The envelope had an IOU in it for Monday. She couldn't make it to the bank. I'm going to meet her and I'll pick it up. Well, what's she trying to pull? I'll stay here till Monday and then I'll meet her and I'll take care of it. And you think it's safe for you to stay here until yes, then? Yes, it's very safe. Well, she thinks she... Well, where's the IOU? Oh. Hello. Oh, God, I just don't have time for you now. I really think by now you must have something you want me to know. Go see Estelle. She's going crazy to kill some dog. Don't tell me anything like that. I don't want a dog aside. I want a homicide. I don't want crazy. I want premeditated. Well, then you're just too picky. What? What? not paying me with all the money you've got. I see your husband making more than three dollars a word every night on the news, and you've got the gall to give me an IOU when you've had since Monday to get the cash? What? Oh, God! Look, 
29 now. I'm the same weight, I'm the same look, and at this point, it would be nice if I earned some money. But even from a basic level, I just don't think I'm a money person. I mean, that's what I figure it resolves to, you know? What do I care about your basic level? I am a money person, and you owe me money! Well, I'm not, so I can't pay you. The money people are just gonna have to pay each other, because they got all the money. You creep! You're really sensitive, aren't you? Well, I can't afford the luxury to be sensitive, because I have to do everything myself! Well, then do it all! Go find some psychiatrist. Find some old homo on the street who wants to listen to your problems. Go try to live off your looks and your sob stories. At least I pay my own way! Where's that address book? You get out of my house and go get yourself a search warrant. A warrant? I don't need a warrant. I have a warrant in my mind for women like you. You ought to be out on 57th Street selling your pussy in front of a delicatessen. That would be big time for a dried up piece of stale white bread like you. I ought to take my knife and scrape some crumbs off you and see if you're stale inside too. You get out of my house, you stupid nigger! What'd you call me? Uh, help me. I don't know. But if you find out, you call me. You know my name, don't you? No. I'm listed. Aren't everything. 